It's a developing story tonight. A group of schools in South Carolina filed a lawsuit in federal court today. They want to eliminate something called the Blaine Amendment. This is from the state constitution. It blocks public funds from being used for religious or private education. Now this comes in response to the Safe Grants decision last year when a judge ruled against using COVID CARES Act relief funds for private institutions. Matt Koufax talked to lawyers involved in this lawsuit and private school families to find out more. Attorney Jeff Jennings says dozens of private schools in the Liberty Justice Center filed for a preliminary injunction in Greenville today with one goal in mind. We're going to ask the judge to uh, quickly look at this uh, so that we can get the money to um, the schools as quickly as possible. He says the state constitution's Blaine Amendment, which asserts that public funds cannot be used to benefit private or religious institutions, is actually unconstitutional itself. The amendment was born of bigotry against African Americans. A it goes all the way back to the late 1800s, uh, also discrimination towards uh, Catholics as well. And the Blaine Amendment was referenced by the federal judge who denied Governor McMaster the ability to allocate $32 million of CARES Act money towards private schools during the height of the pandemic. Michelle Gantz has multiple boys in private school in Greenville. She was among those who supported the governor's efforts and was upset when the judge denied safe grants, which could have directly helped her family financially with tuition. I don't think that race had a lot to do with it. I just think it had to do mostly with they think that state funds should go to state schools. She says she would love to see the money freed up for families like hers. I mean, it does say something about that in the Constitution as far as, you know, private schools should not get state funded money. I do believe that that should change. If you pay taxes, I think your taxes should go to the school that your kids attend. Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina News.